Hello everyone, welcome back to another YouTube video. Today we are going to be talking about Percy Jackson season two, because what else do I talk about? Day 23 happened this weekend in Brazil and the Percy Jackson series made a small appearance. So we're gonna talk about it. The trio and Rick video called into the panel because they're still on set filming in Canada. And I just have to point out that the kids look so great, especially Leah, but she always outdoes the boys when it comes to like outfits. So I'm not shocked. Like I mentioned, they're all on set still. And actually the room that they're videoing in from is a part of the set. It's one of the rooms in the big house, which has me excited. I'm hoping we're gonna explore more parts of camp in season two. But you can see behind them in the video that there's like a miniature model of the chariot race. And I'm really curious to see if that miniature serves a purpose in the show or if it's just there for decoration. Similarly to every other panel we get of Percy Jackson, we got our usual crumbs and updates throughout the panel. Each of the kids got to show off a prop. Leah had her dagger. Walker had Riptide. And he actually mentions that since he's grown since season one, Riptide has also gotten longer. I don't know if that's going to be like a lore drop on Riptide in the show or if that's just something they did from like a prop perspective. Because I think it'd be kind of interesting if like Riptide grew and adapted to Percy as he grows and adapts as a person. That'd be kind of cool. And then Arian got to show that he actually has Grover's panpipes now in season two for the first time. They all talk a little bit about season two, but obviously they can't give away too much. Leah talks about Daniel as Tyson and how it's been so great to film scenes with him. She confirms for us once again that Tyson's one eye isn't a practical thing. So again, like I say in every video, I'm really curious to see how they're going to do the effect of the one eye in the show. Fingers crossed it looks good. I'm very nervous for it because we all know how bad the movie turned out. <laughs> Leah specifically shouting out Daniel makes me really excited to see the scenes between Annabeth and Tyson because their dynamic in the Sea of Monsters is one of my favorite parts of the book and I'm hoping that it's translated really well to screen. Walker says that they are at the point in filming where they are entering the Sea of Monsters. He says they've been filming the scenes with the monsters and that it's all really big and he's really excited for us to see it. That would put the filming time frame around chapter 11, which is more than halfway through the book. And of course, that's assuming they're filming everything chronologically, which I don't think they're doing, at least not as much as they did for season one. There are a couple reasons why I think they've been filming things out of order. For starters, as of October 26th, we have been getting videos of sheep being on set, making me think they've already filmed some scenes at Monster Island. Not all scenes, but some scenes. And then there's also been multiple days where crew members have posted that they're filming water scenes, but they've only tagged Walker and Leah kind of implying that those are the only two people on set, maybe, meaning that they would have filmed scenes where it's just the two of them. But of course, obviously that's all very hypothetical. I do know that they're projected to finish filming around January of next year. So them being just over halfway through filming kind of makes sense. But of course, the biggest news that we got this weekend is that Athena has officially been casted in the show. This is very exciting because it's the first goddess that we're gonna have in the show. And Athena is going to be played by Andra Day. We got our first look at Andra as Athena in a video where she's saying, hello to the Percy Jackson fans. We also got a photo of Athena and Annabeth standing side by side, which means we got our first official HD look at Annabeth in season two. Now, of course, this wouldn't be the Percy Jackson fandom if people weren't complaining. So after we got our first look at Athena, people felt compelled to complain about the outfit that Athena is wearing in this photo. Now in the Sea of Monsters, the only time that we see Athena is during Annabeth's siren vision. So I say actually let's refer to the source material really quick if you guys don't mind. And if you guys want, you can read along with me. I'm on page 196. <clears throat> she was dressed casually in blue jeans and a denim shirt and hiking boots, but something about the woman radiated power. I knew that I was looking at the goddess Athena. Now, if you ask me, a yellow jumper is really not a far cry from a double denim outfit. Also, when it comes to both Annabeth and Athena in this picture, both of their outfits are kind of giving life vest, bon voyage, I'm on the ocean type of energy. So I kind of see like where the costuming department is coming from. And here's the thing. I get personally not liking the outfit choice for Athena. If that's your personal preference, that's totally fine and valid. But... I do think that the Percy Jackson fandom has a serious issue when it comes to vocalizing their personal opinions and trying to disguise it as a book accuracy complaint. Because in the book, Athena is wearing regular street clothes, nothing fancy. In the show, she seems to be wearing a yellow jumpsuit, nothing fancy. This fandom went through this exact same thing last season when we got our first look at Hermes and he was just in jeans and a sweatshirt. People were like, the costuming department sucks. This is such a boring outfit. When it's common knowledge that the gods wear regular street clothes when they're out in public to disguise themselves and make themselves blend in. So Hermes wearing a sweatshirt, 
makes total sense actually. But like I said, it's okay to personally dislike it. If you don't like the yellow on Andra, that's fine. If you think the jumpsuit's ugly, that's fine. If you thought the hoodie was stupid, that's fine. But when you don't like something, you got to make sure you're saying, yeah, this is my personal opinion and not just tossing it to something being book inaccurate because the outfits are book accurate. You just don't like it and that's fine. I personally am indifferent on the outfits. I'm someone who likes to wait and pass judgment when I see it in the show and I see it in context of whatever scene it's from. So I'm indifferent. But regardless of the outfits, regardless of the tangent I just went on, I am so excited that Athena is casted. I think Andrew Day is going to be a phenomenal Athena. Like the book said, she definitely radiates a powerful energy. As a child of Athena myself, there are two things that I wanted to see in season two of Percy Jackson. I wanted to see Athena and I want to see Athena's cabin. So I think I'm going to be very happy with seeing what I want in season two. And unfortunately, that is all that we got at the D23 Brazil panel. I am a little upset. I was definitely hoping for some footage or maybe like a teaser trailer. Considering they were able to give us footage two months ago, I thought that we were going to get a little bit more footage, but we didn't. That's fine. So now the teaser trailer for season two is probably gonna drop on like a random Wednesday when I'm at the grocery store or when I'm out doing something, which is so exciting and definitely helps ease my anxiety so much. But that also means we just have something to look forward to, which is also nice. I am kind of shocked that all Brazil got was just one casting announcement. I felt like bringing Percy Jackson to Brazil was going to be a much bigger deal than it was. They had so many sets and like fun fan interactive things around D23 Brazil. So I really thought that they were gonna bring like a lot to their panel and they didn't. So I'm sad, but like, my expectations were super high and that's on me, obviously. So all that's left to do is just wait. Hurry up and wait for the next announcement we get. Hurry up and wait for the next time we get footage. Let me know what you think of the casting for Athena. I think it's really good casting, but I've always been a fan of the casting in the show so far. They haven't really let me down. Maybe I was a little shocked at Lin-Manuel Miranda for season one, but I moved past that pretty fast. So let me know what you think of the casting. Let me know if you were expecting more from this panel. I definitely was, but hey, what can you do? Like I say all the time, beggars can't be choosers. But that pretty much does it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all next time.